Welcome to Science and Technology Briefing. The content of the briefing includes Inside the Collapse of Sam Bankman Fried's Crypto Empire. The internet is really the Google Web, Microsoft boss says in antitrust trial. EU to assess risks of critical technologies being weaponized. Visa launches $100 million venture fund for generative AI startups. Ether ETF debut leaves small investors underwhelmed. Inside the collapse of Sam Bankman Fried's crypto empire. Telegraph. Sam Bankman Fried, the cryptocurrency entrepreneur and former richest person under 30, is facing trial for allegedly misplacing $9 billion of depositors' money. Bankman Fried was convinced by philosopher William McCaskill to earn as much money as possible to donate to good causes. However, Bankman Fried's empire collapsed and he is now accused of conspiracy and fraud. Michael Lewis, author of Liars Poker and the Big Short, has written a book about Bankman Fried's rise and fall, called Going Infinite, which explores the story behind the alleged financial crime of the century. The internet is really the Google web, Microsoft boss says in antitrust trial. The Sydney Morning Herald. Microsoft CEO Satya Nadella took the stand in a federal court in Washington to testify against Google, stating that the search giant's power in online search has become so pervasive that even his company found it difficult to compete on the internet. Microsoft and Google have clashed over online search, mobile computing, web browsing, cloud computing and other areas for more than two decades. Nadella's testimony underscores how entrenched Google has become in online search as the U.S. government seeks to prove that it broke monopoly laws by forging anti-competitive deals to crush rivals. The trial, which has been ongoing for 10 weeks, is seen as a referendum on whether the government can slow down Silicon Valley's largest companies. A Google victory could be a major rebuke of regulators who say tech giants have too much sway over their customers, partners and startup competitors. At the heart of the government's case is the claim that Google illegally cemented its monopoly in online search by paying to be the default search engine on browsers such as Apple's Safari and Mozilla's Firefox, as well as on the home screen of smartphones. EU to assess risks of critical technologies being weaponized. South China Morning Post. The European Commission is set to assess the risks of four critical technologies, including semiconductors and artificial intelligence, AI, being weaponized by countries not aligned with EU values. The move is part of the EU's economic security strategy and follows similar actions taken by the US, Australia, and others concerned about China's assertive role. The other two technologies on the EU's list are quantum technologies and biotechnologies. Possible measures to mitigate risks include export controls and partnering with like-minded allies. The EU has been seeking to reduce its dependence on China and other countries for key products in recent years. Visa launches $100 million venture fund for generative AI startups. Reuters. Visa has launched a $100 million venture fund for generative artificial intelligence, AI, startups. The fund will invest in companies that are using generative AI, a technology that creates new content based on past data. Visa's move comes as several other high-profile companies, including Microsoft and Google, have also invested in the AI sector. Visa's chief product and strategy officer, Jack Forrestell, said that generative AI has the potential to meaningfully change commerce and that Visa wants to understand how it will impact the industry. Ether ETF debut leaves small investors underwhelmed. Wall Street Journal. The first Ether-focused exchange-traded funds, ETFs, have launched, however, they were met with little interest from small investors. The seven funds had a combined trading volume of less than $7 million, with most ending the day in the red. The industry has hoped ETFs would draw money into the asset class, with BlackRock and Fidelity Investments among the money managers waiting for the SEC to approve spot Bitcoin ETFs. The SEC has delayed making decisions on pending applications for a second time, pushing the deadline to January 2024, including applications for spot Ether ETFs. Prices for NVIDIA Generative AI Chips Soar in Japan Nikkei Asia the prices of NVIDIA semiconductor devices for data centers in Japan are increasing due to the weak yen. GDEP Advance, an official NVIDIA sales partner, has raised the price of the H100 graphics processing unit by 16% to 5.44 million yen. This is driven by the recent depreciation of the yen, bringing the price to its highest level since October 2022. Companies developing generative AI are willing to accept higher prices for high-performance GPUs. TikTok parent ByteDance turns operating profit, sees revenue slow. Wall Street Journal. ByteDance, the parent company of social media platform TikTok, reported an operating profit of nearly $6 billion in Q1 2023, almost double its earnings from the previous year. 
Despite the strong performance, ByteDance's revenue growth has slowed compared to the previous year. In 2022, the company's revenue surged by over 38% to $85.2 billion, whereas in the previous year, it rose by nearly 80%. The financial report, which was shared with employees, also revealed that the company generated over $20 billion in operating profit in 2022. ByteDance is offering to buy back shares from current employees at $160 per share, implying a valuation of $223.5 billion. This marks a decrease of 26% from the previous year's valuation of $300 billion. Thank you for tuning in. The content above showcases the latest briefing reports and analytical synopses, thoughtfully curated by the 6Do team. These insights stem from a wide array of reputable media outlets, think tanks, government sources, and specialized experts worldwide. We encourage you to explore these sources for a comprehensive perspective. Keep in mind that while the content may not always align with the official standpoint of 6Do brief, it's not meant to be taken as absolute directives for decision-making. Comprising seasoned media professionals, learned scholars, and accomplished scientists, the 6Do team embodies a trailblazing, fully independent media entity. To customize 6Do Brief to meet your professional needs, you have the option to subscribe to a diverse array of briefings on our website, 6dobrief.com. Regardless of your location, you can conveniently receive 6Do Brief via email.